pass your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, this is an August monthly reset that I do every single month. I started being consistent July, which I'm so excited. Today, August is uh, pretty exciting. I'm expected to do so much this month. So before we jump into next month, which is August already in this month, I'm just going to kick back on my previous month. I just thought I really don't share that much. And I just thought I should share a few stuff that I feel comfortable about. And the things that didn't happen just yet, I'm just going to keep it on a suspense. Don't want to share it that much. I keep telling you guys I'm not ready to show you guys my vision board, but it keeps getting there. My coffee cup is already empty. Yeah. So let's check out July stuff that I got accomplished. So I bought a couple of materials for my outfit. You guys know that I'm on this new journey of changing up my style and so far so good. I cannot get most of the clothes design that I want here in Australia and it's pretty difficult because we don't have the brands here. So it's either you go thrift shopping or you sew it yourself, customize it yourself, which is absolutely what I'm doing lately and I love it. So I got some materials left some at the tailor to get it sewed and the other ones I still have them because I'm just waiting as a new tailor man that I met I just want to see how the first one turn out before I start buying or I start giving him the new one so room decoration renovation I got that done yay I'm so excited it turned out really good I did a video on that if you want to check it out make I'll just make sure I look in that below and I went to a couple of events, which is pretty good. But there are a few events that I didn't go to that I feel so bad about. Brunching this month, I didn't go Freetown brunch. And I didn't go to a movie premiere, which was like a, a, uh, my colleague at the office. She's an actress. She did a movie premiere. And I didn't go and I felt really bad because I was really anticipating. Yes, and this month I collected my Susu. I'm actually on an investment that I collected this month, which I love, which was good. I went out with my friend, went out for lunch. It was amazing. And I did further in information searching for a specific thing that is going to happen on September. And um, you guys just stay tuned for that. But there are so many things that I did left out last month. I left out like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen things that I didn't get done this month which i'm pretty much disappointed and then uh, let's check out my budget and i didn't do any budgeting this month i mean july which sucks yeah So let's move on to my 12 week year is something that I pick kind of like four major things from my vision board and I kind of like put them down, break them down every day to till the end of the month and see how I uh, get things done easily, then waiting and then till the end of the year and then I don't get things done. So the 12 week month is a uh, three months, which is July, August and September. So, um, so far so good. What I got accomplished here 
am i on the right page yeah what i got accomplished here is um still trying to grow my social media it's pretty slow because i haven't been posting that much i've been trying to eat healthy but gosh it's really expensive things are getting really expensive here in sierra leone so that's really frustrating i did a solo date this month it was actually good i loved it and um i've been taking care of my skin my skin's been breaking down so much i'm still trying new products here and there just to see what fits me and of course i did some shopping for outfit which i liked and i didn't give out charity which i promised myself that i was gonna but yeah we still have two months to get that done and then um i'm trying to grow my business which i'm trying to and i'm getting new clients which is good and um yeah that's pretty much what i can mention so far yeah going to quickly talk about august so august i have a three big purchase to do which i am so happy about but of course as the day go by each vlog or videos that i do i'll be listing them down below and when i do a september monthly vlog i'll just list down the things that i got and i'm so happy that this month i'm gonna be super focused because i took a lot of break from other things that i used to do so that i can delegate this month to execute things that are gonna give me money period so let's look at my weekly vlog weekly update i've been missing out on a lot of things like reading i didn't read that much i don't see friends that much for in that i've been taking care of my skin that much but i've been listening to motivational videos doing yoga and i have been pampering myself once in a while and i finished decorating my room which i absolutely love my space it's really really nice let's just hope july treats me well august treats me well yes so um yeah so august weekly weekly update i'll be doing that today i didn't and of course my august first week um vision board update i'll be doing that as well i didn't yeah so if i was gonna grade my last month july update for everything it's kind of like a four out of a ten but i'm proud of myself at least i did some stuff i did shift on certain things that i didn't accomplish for next month and yeah which is cool so today's activity for the day woke up and we're grateful i did brush my teeth made my bed did a little skincare organized some stuff and then i did budgeting as well this month and then i am going to dress up go outside and i'm going to go to the office because i have 10 pages of a book that i'm writing i told you guys that i was going to do a book launch this year i literally been on this for like two years but this year i'm finally setting my mind on it we're going to do a book launch yeah so i'm working on a book that i'm sure a lot of you are going to enjoy and those that follow me and are getting inspired by me that are going to love so that is a plus one and then i'm gonna go grocery store and i'm gonna finish a fashion article your girl's been future on a book magazine so they gave me a page to just give tips about fashion and stuff like that so i'm kind of like putting on five different summer vacay and december looks that are pretty cheap and simple you can put together color matching and stuff like that so yeah pretty nice and then i'm gonna come back home do a meal plan relax read book and relax study because i'm trying to finish a course which is about a lifestyle coach i'm just trying to get into that entrepreneur life where i can also coach other people to be successful or know the kind of career they want which is good and then i'm gonna organize my client schedule because i got a new client like i said so i'm gonna put in the schedule for them and then i'm gonna organize my workout clothes because i'll be training myself i'm kind of like i love august because i'm gonna be focusing on myself a lot and then i'm gonna talk to a couple of my friends and then i'm gonna look for new skincare products because i really need it been getting a lot of breakouts here can you guys see like it's really not good so we have to get that checked so I'm going to have lunch, shower, do another skincare, and then chill. Then a little hour later, I'm going to have dinner, brush my teeth, and rest. So that's activity for the day. I went and I got my hair done this week. But I, yeah, we're just going to manage it for now. But I'm expected to change it. 
I think that is too blonde for me and uh, quite not the way I expected it but we'll see how it goes hopefully I'll enjoy it you never know so yeah you guys let me get dressed and, and we head out to go get everything done When it comes to shopping, I like to do it. I don't like to go to the supermarket. There are certain times that I like to go to the supermarket. But for me, I just love to do something like this. So I'm so excited. Hi guys so basically i'm just gonna run through all of the things that i got for the month so we have oatmeal of course some milk and nescafe this is what i'm using for now because i kind of like it because the little pack they come then i can know my measurements and how much i want it on my cup and here we have some mint and ginger for the smoothie, I'm doing pineapple smoothie here and there or if I want it on my coffee. Oh, this is peeled and washed already and I just need to wash them and restore them on, in the freezer. And then we have our green pepper. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love. We got some lame here for my coffee lovers. No, not coffee, like tea lovers, you know, and also for me to put it on my smoothie. And again, we have some Irish potato. Pretty nice. And we got some onion. <laughs> now that onion is so expensive in Sierra Leone, I just managed to get three for 20 leons. And then we have frozen chicken. I'll be eating um, chicken breast lately because it is lean and high in protein. And it's really, really good for my food when I'm doing my fried rice or like I want to put it on my spaghetti and variety of different kind of things what I want to put it. So we have uh, macaruna, we have frozen vegetables, mixed vegetables, which is really nice. I can use it in my rice, in my spaghetti, you know, the list goes on. And then we have some bread for morning toast. And then we have some veggies and fruits here for my, I like to put my, um, fruits on top of my like um oatmeal or like use it for smoothie or like use it for to put it on my bread as a toast and then over here we have seasons for the fried rice and then we have for the chicken and we have garlic we have black pepper.